bless you. Your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence. By your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. You may be seated. John chapter 7, verse 28. John chapter 7, verse 28. Then Jesus, still teaching in the temple courts, cried out, Yes, you know me, and you know where I am from. I am not here on my own authority, but he who sent me is true. You do not know him. 29. But I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. 30. At this, they try to seize him, but no one lays a hand on him because his hour had not yet come. That one, still many in the crowd believed in him. They said, when the Messiah comes, he will perform more signs than this man. 32. The Pharisees ate the crowd whispering such things about him. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees sent temple guards to arrest him. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, no one can stop you. Not even sickness. Not even your enemy. No one can stop you. Yes, we continue with this uh, message. No one can stop you to become what God Almighty wants you to become. Enemies will be there. It's normal. It doesn't mean that they will stop you. No. Unless if you don't know who is behind you, unless if you don't know that God brought you to this life for a purpose, no one can stop you because they hate you or they don't believe in what you are doing. Trying is normal. They can try but stopping you, it is not possible. As long as you are like Jesus in your heart, they tried, they could not stop this man, Jesus. And he came to introduce you to this unstoppable life. Are you there? People of God, it's no more for your family members, friends, very close friends, who knows you to doubt you and to say bad things about your life. But it doesn't mean that they have got power to stop you. No, they have no power. No one can stop you or stop me to become what Jesus wants me to become. This is the message I want to, you to carry home. Listen to 30, I mean 28. Jesus still teaching in the temple courts. He cried out. Because he heard them talking about him. He said, yes, you know me. And you know where I am coming from. This is now Jesus telling them, you know me and you know where I am coming from. Let me just go right to the point. 30. At this, they try to seize him, meaning to arrest him. This is 30. But no one lays a hand on him. Because his hour had not yet come. There's time for everything. The one who brought you to this life programmed your life. He programmed everything from the one up to where you are until you leave this world. And he was alone when he was programming about your life. Your enemies were not there. Witches and wizards were not there. Ancestors were not there. Jealous was not there. He was alone proclaiming your life and he designed your future. He said, this one will be a lawyer. This one will be a minister. This one will be a president. 
As long as it is him who pronounced that word upon your life, no one can stop you. They tried to stop the man Jesus. His hour was not yet come. Meaning, no one can do bad things against you unless if God Almighty permits such a person. It's a pity that we confess failure, rejection, whatever. Yes, it's normal to face what we are facing. But the reality on the ground is that no one can stop you to become a minister. No one can stop you to become a president. You'll be a rich woman or a rich man. God's time is always what? Forget about time. To him, age does not matter. What is important is words to be fulfilled in your life. Your, your, your family members, your friends, those who can turn against you, they may say one or two things about your life. But God has already enshrined that Joseph, you'll be a prophet. Joseph, you'll be a manager. The whole entire system will turn against you. You are a manager already spiritually. No one can stop you to become a manager. You can say anything, but you cannot stop me. Even if you hate me, it doesn't mean that you can stop me. It is the body that you hate. You don't know me spiritually. You don't know where I am going. No one can stop. They try to seize the man Jesus. They, you know, people were whispering about him. Ah, this man is ABCD. Then the Pharisees overheard this. They said, ah, this man must be arrested. They instructed the temple guards to say, arrest him. But the Bible says that no one could lay their hands on him. Because the time was not yet come. Are you there, people of God? But the, the problem is that you don't understand who you are in the hands of God. That is the biggest problem. You can't stop me, and I cannot stop you. I just see your body. I don't know who is behind you. If you look at Jesus, he appeared, you know, like a man. And yet, he was like, you know, inside, not like. He was God himself inside him. But people, you know, saw his body and said, unless this man. The power and authority in him could not allow them, not even to lay their hands on him. He was walking majestically. Anywhere where there is a meeting, you go there, watching them. And they were busy talking about, this is the man. This is the man. Arrest him now. As long as less a tabebe right mu katen. Ining nanguka baku kata chimuno kwa tubaku chita promote. Bakula ngoku ba popular. Because it's not yet time for you to be arrested. When it is time, yes. Are you there? Let's continue. This is 32. The Pharisees heard the crowd whispering such things about him. Then the chief priest and the Pharisees sent the, the temple guards to arrest him. Let me jump from this one to chapter 11, the same book. Let's go to chapter 11, verse 45. John, chapter 11, verse 45. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. The only problem with Jesus is because of the miracles, you know, he was performing. Jesus had no intention to be a president of this world or to be one of the kings in Israel, no. So the only problem is that once Jesus performed the miracles, majority of the people who believe in him that no, this man is from God. But to the leaders of this world, they were not happy. They were not comfortable thinking this man will take over our position. See the crowd, everyone is talking about this man. No, what kind of a man is this? Many who came to Mary 
This is the time when Lazarus has not died. They saw what happened. They believed in him. These are Jews. Now, let's continue in 46. Listen to 46. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. Are you there? I hope you are reading the Bible. They went to report the miracle that he performed. This is what this man has done today. Listen to this now. This is 47. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the century. What are we accomplishing? They ask. Here is this man performing many signs. They became uncomfortable. What are you doing? You see this man performing so many miracles and you are sitting down. What are you doing? This is the meeting, an emergency meeting, to discuss the way forward, how to approach this man, how to arrest this man, how to stop him, not to continue doing what he's doing. Hmm. How I wish you understand this, that life in Jesus is an unstoppable life. It's an unquestionable life. Even nangufening kala munga ya kusanga teti kudye. Teti chitashan. Because na wata ikweti ya maka ya kukui minika. Ta ulafiki ni chefi ole saa kutumina. Maybe you don't know this. Kwa li bechin tuchimocho le sala ndilelo mwale fiyari kwa. Tu uyua fiyari kwa akabefi. So ta pafule pabechi ya kuisa u. Kuisa futechevo cha kwa leza. No. Ta wabena ala kuipaya. No, 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 no. Remember Daniel. Go and ask him. What happened? Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Go and ask them what happened for the first time. But Jesus, you are carrying a mission. No one can stop you. Not even sickness. Not even HIV. Not even cancer. Not even diabetes. Until you accomplish the mission. That's when you leave this world. Ha, I don't know. Let me uh, call you. Listen to this now. 48. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him. And then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. Look at this confession. They were scared of him. If we let this man continue like this, everyone will follow him. Mushabari mukenyo kuchita fya ishire mukuchita. Yes, tapari na ngumo wa mimini kuchita tawabe fya oleba. Aleba eba ebele ine na isa mukuchita fya. Ukui paywa nke paywa. Elon kabuka pabu shikubu alenga. Shita to. Come on, you are not listening to me. Jesus hili abu kilebari mfida china shita shani. Insa mbuna makata shia pero futisha kuya muikata. They were permitted by God Almighty to fulfill what is written. But as long as you are not permitted, you cannot stop me. You cannot kill me. You can talk about me, but you have no power over my life. I am a child of God, sent by God, dedicated to God Almighty. So you cannot stop me. You cannot. Nishama soja tabai direko ba yamu ikatatiwe. Futu wasa mku pangama problem tuwa kui pa irepo. But you know, I'm feeling that now we can't party. Why you life imprisonment. No one could think like that because they were not permitted by God Almighty. Simply means Jesus inside you, around you, no one can stop you. People can plan evil things about you, but they cannot stop you. Because Jesus is the one pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. No, if you're family, mumi yesu, tatuchila sevente, tatuchila. No. Is it Bible? Hmm? No, if you're family, mumi yesu, kwa ribe fitu iminika. No one can stop you. Nga taba kwa nishoku iminika yesu kristu, ne mumu inetaba miminika. Ngavari kwa nishoku muiminika. Yes, bala tuiminika. We are walking towards our success. And we are getting there. 
enemies who continue talking about your movements, your business, but you are working towards your success. There are people who are monitoring you 24-7 who are always wishing you bad things to say this one will never give birth to this life. They will be shocked. They will meet you with a very big tummy with twins inside your body because no one can stop you. As long as it is the will of God for you to be a mother, you'll be a mother. Abraham, how possible? How possible? Because I'm old and this woman is old. To him, people of God, age does not matter. He is the owner of everything. He is in that age. You may look old, but he will make you a young boy or a young lady inside you. So that you fulfill the purpose. So no one can stop you. Hmm? What is impossible to man? It is possible to God. They planned a lot of things against Jesus. One individual against the government of the day. With all the machineries. With all the security. But they could not arrest Jesus. They kept on talking about him. He was walking. He was walking. He was busy talking. Until but Pamunando got in Stata Yafikire, the party Nangumoa Muketemo. Ninsta is Mwendelamo, in Engine de la Munsta Yakwa, yes. Nga in Mwendela Munsta. Look, I can okula Tina if you have unto Batina. Unless in Gatamushi Batmulina less. This man was alone. Physically, but spiritually, the Almighty God was behind him. No one can stop you. You'll be whom God wants you to be. You'll be a mother. You'll be a father. You'll be a billionaire. You'll be a member of parliament. No one can stop you. You'll be a lawyer. It is in lines in your blood that this one is a lawyer. No one can stop you. Enemies are there. Plenty enemies. The more you are praying, the more you are getting closer to Jesus, the more you are what? Attracting what? Persecutions. But that persecution cannot stop you. Tell your neighbor that you cannot stop me. Tell your neighbor, say, you cannot stop me. Say, I look simple, but the one inside me is greater than my appearance. So you cannot stop me. Even if you know my father, you know my house, you don't know my destiny. So you cannot stop me. Yes. It doesn't mean that you know my destiny. It doesn't mean that you know my destiny. You cannot stop me. I cannot stop you. You become what Jesus wants you to become in this life. They could not arrest Jesus. If you follow the story, if you don't say you are a Christian, you are a Christian. Not if you are a Pinga. Not if you are a Christian. But if you are a Pinga, you are a Christian. You are a Christian. So, if you are a Christian, you are a Christian. You are a Christian. They are lying. They are what? No one can stop Jesus in me. No one can stop Jesus in you. Your life is unstoppable. Because of Jesus. I think uh, this message, take it home. Stop condemning yourself. 
Stop complaining about the situation that you are going through. No one can stop you. Put yourself in the hands, I mean, in the, uh, Jesus' shoes. If it is you, without Jesus on you, I mean, without the power of God on your side, you run away, you kill yourself. But if you see here, you look here, you see Jesus. Ah, <laughs> So no one can stop you. Stop crying and complaining. Jesus is your father. He's backing you. And you are working towards your success. And you, you will succeed in your life. Forget about your age. Age does not matter. When Jesus is involved, he will make you to recover everything that you have lost. So, I hope you understand this. No one can... So, you are confessing failure. Hmm? Jesus never confessed what? Defeat. He always said it is written. It is what? Written. It is what? Written. And when you say it is written, Satana is confused. Because no one can delete the word of God or rewrite the Bible because of evil things. No. So no one can stop you. In your business, Mulech Taidino Kwima. Promotion is coming to you. No one can stop your promotion. Mm. No one can limit your life. Thank you. God bless you.